work. A legendary artist is finally getting the recognition she deserves. That's right. One of her portraits just sold at Sotheby's for more than a million dollars. Linda Schmidt sat down with Francois Gillot, the famous French painter, at her apartment on the Upper West Side. She reflects on her extraordinary life and career as she's about to turn 100 years old. Oh, my gosh. So much beauty. Extraordinary artwork created by a woman who has had an extraordinary life. But 99-year-old Francoise Gillot does not see her life as anything more special than anyone else's. How could I think something about it because I lived it, you know? <laughs> How long have you been painting? All my life. Since you were a child? Yes. Three years old, something like that. Oh, yes, it comes even almost before you can speak. Last month, the French artist's painting, Paloma alla Guitare, sold for $1.3 million at Sotheby's Auction House, seven times more than what was expected, a recognition many in the art world feel is long overdue. But it is not the money that validates Gillot as an artist or a person. I don't believe too much in what other people say. <laughs> My affirmation whether it's acknowledged or not comes from the center from myself, you know, not, not from somebody else, even if it's very nice. This was Sotheby's first sale devoted to just women artists. In the art world, men still reign supreme when it comes to the dollar value of their artwork. For a very long time, women were not considered eligible, so to speak. Let's talk about women. The painting is her daughter Paloma, one of two children she had with famed artist Pablo Picasso. She was 21 when they met in 1943. He was 61. She too an artist and recounted her 10 years with him in her 1964 memoir, Life with Picasso. She is the only woman to ever walk away from Picasso and has flourished as a successful artist in her own right. Years later, Gillot married Dr. Jonas Salk, who developed the first successful polio vaccine. But she does not dwell on her past. She lives in the moment. I evolve all the time. You know, we, we change all the time. Nobody stays the same. Born and raised in Paris, Gillot has called New York home as well. Since the 1980s, she still paints in her studio on the Upper West Side. For well, an artist, I think work is not work. It's simply an enjoyment of a, of a different kind. It's mysterious. Even for myself, I would say that art is good if it's mysterious. In art, what should guide you is your own feelings. Two of her favorite colors are red and blue. I wore this today for you. Ah, oh, very good. So you approve? I approve the cut also. Oh, you like the cut as well? Well, thank you. <laughs> Gillot will turn 100 years old in November and hopes to keep learning and discovering something new every day. I think you have to be natural in, in, in any case. To try to be natural, to be really yourself. That's the most difficult work. You should try to be yourself. That's a very important thing, you know, whatever it is. On the Upper West Side, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.